Uh, so today we'll be doing Wylock 7th grade math lesson 1. The first problem is 8,427 plus 3,589. 7 plus 9 is 16. 3 plus 8 is 11. 5 plus 5 is 10. And 9 plus 3 is 12. That gives us 12,016. The next problem is 15,000. Minus 6,786. We take out from 5. 10 minus 6 is 4. 9 minus 8 is 1. 9 minus 7 is 2. And 14 minus 6 is 8. That goes 8,214. Now, 9,652. Plus 7,341. 2 plus 1 is 3. 5 plus 4 is 9. 6 plus 3 is 9. And 9 plus 7 is 16. That will give us 16,993. Now we're going to move on to multiplication. First, we're doing 124 times 36. 4 times 6 is 24. 2 times 6 is 12, and then we have to add 2, which would give us 14. 1 times 6 is 6, and we, add, we would add 1, which would give us 7, to add a 0. 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times 3 is 6, and we would add 1, so that would be 7. And 1 times 3 is 3. So now when we add, that would give us 4,464. The next problem is 78 times 54. 8 times 4 is 32. 7 times 4 is 28, and we would add 3, so that would be 31. 8 times 5 is 40. 7 times 5 is 35, and we would add 4, so that would be 39. So that would be 4,212. Now we're doing 98 times 27. 8 times 7 is 56. 9 times 7 is 63. And we'd add 5, so that would be 68. 8 times 2 is 16. 9 times 2 is 18. And we would add 1, so that would be 19. And when that's all said and done, it will be 2,646. So now onto division, we're doing 987 divided by 21. 21 goes into 98 four times, so be 84, and when we subtract, it'll get a difference of 14. We can drop the 7, and 21 goes into 147 seven times, so our answer will be 47. Now, we're doing 1,456 divided by 34. 34 goes into 145 four times. That would be 136. That would give us a difference of 9. And we can drop the 6 right here. And 34 goes into 9, 6 twice. So let me subtract that. It will be 28. 34 goes into 288 times. That will give us 272. 80. 34 goes into 80 twice. So that will be 68. 12 and 120. And 34 goes into 120 three times. And we can just round to the 100th place, so our answer will be 42.82. Now for algebra and fractions, 3x plus 7 is equal to 22, 
we can subtract 7 on both sides. That would be 3x is equal to 15. And now we divide by 3 on both sides. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. So x is equal to 5. Now we're doing 5x minus 9 is equal to 16. So you can add 9 on both sides. That'll be 5x is equal to 25. We divide by 5 on both sides. So that'll be x is equal to 5. Now 2x plus 4 is equal to 12. We can subtract 4 on both sides. 2x is equal to 8. We will add 2 on both sides and x is equal to 4. Now for simplifying fractions, we have to find the greatest common factor on both the numerator and denominator. So that would be 15 in this case. So 45 divided by 15 will be 3. And 60 divided by 15 will be 4. So we know it will be 3 over 4 when simplified. <laughs> 36 divided by 48, the greatest common factor for both is 12. 36 divided by 12 is 3. And 48 divided by 12 is 4. So simplified, it is 3 over 4. For 72 and 96, we can find the greatest common factor for both is 24. So 72 divided by 24 is 3. And 96 divided by 24 is 4. So it will be 3 over 4 simplified. Now for operations of fractions. We have to find a number that would... We would, we would need to find the same denominator for both. So that would be 12 in this case. So we can multiply by 3 on 3 over 4. That would be equal to 9 over 12. And 2 over 3, we can multiply by 4. That would be 8 over 12. And that would equal 17 over 12. On this problem, we can just multiply 1 over 2. We can multiply 1 over 2 times 4, and that would be equal to 4 over 8. So then we can, we can subtract 7 over 8. We could, just we could subtract 4 over 8 from 7 over 8. That would be 3 over 8.